So a quick tip for Adobe InDesign on how you can have different sized pages in the same document. As you can see I'm using InDesign CS 5.5 and I'm using uh, Windows. The same tip applies on the Mac. So I'm just going to dismiss that. Go to New Document. Uh, disable Facing Pages because I don't want to use that in this example. Just give myself a page here. I'm going to make it A5, three pages. I'm going to leave the margins as they are just to uh, show you something. So here's my three pages over here. I'm just going to disable uh, allow document pages to shuffle so I can create a spread here. I'm going to use this tool here called the page tool. I'm just going to select the middle page there and I'm going to set the width of the page up here. So I want it 10 mil. This is going to be the spine for a book. I'm just going to OK it. And as you can see, it's giving me an error saying that my margins won't let the page go any smaller. So I can just easily go up to here make sure that page is selected and then go to your margins and just take them out or make them smaller so now i can resize it to 10 mil and it's done it as you can see it's not perfect the pages are all sort of apart but you can use the page tool to snap to the edge of the spine there and again done there so if i was preparing this uh, book for proofing or something and uh, the customer added more pages or adjusted the thickness of the paper I can go in making sure I've clicked on the spine and I can make it bigger say 20 mil but again same issue the uh, the spine here is sort of become or overlap the other pages so you do have to move these unfortunately but there you go there's the spine or if you are creating a folder you might want a little sort of flap to go on the end there again you do have to join these pages back together but it's as simple as that. I mean, you can also use uh, this sort of uh, setup to create, say, a suite of stationery. So um, if I just insert a couple more pages, um, make sure I'm on that page. I'm going to use the page tool here. I'm going to make this page, say, business card size. And this one, comp slip size. And if I zoom out, you can see you've got your business card, comp slip, and that head, and you could contain it all within the same file. I mean, it's not always the best practice because uh, when it comes to outputting jobs, someone might forget to not uh, print only page one or only page two, but it's still quite a good uh, option.